Welcome back to my channel, babies. Yep. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Oops. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video brought to you by me. Duh. Before I get started, you know the deal. Subscribe to my channel, please. Support. Don't be a hater. Thumbs this video up if you liked it. Thumbs it down if you did not. And you know what? Leave me a DM comment. Leave me a smiley face, an eggplant emoji, whatever you want. I don't care. Also, follow me on social media. It's like down there in the description. This video is gonna be a story time if you couldn't tell by the fucking title. And I am very excited to share this story because I love telling stories because I love listening to my voice. I guess. Alright, so this story is gonna be about the time I lost my virginity. Woo! Let's backtrack a lot <laughs> because I'm old. Um, I came out of the closet when I was 18 years old, you know, 18 and fabulous. And it took me a long time to come out because of a lot of reasons. But I was obviously never sexually active, <laughs> duh. But I was ready to be like, your boy needed some penis. I came out of the closet and I was like ready to lose my virginity because to me, I was already late to the damn party. Like, I was just ready to do it. As you know, unless you're straight, <laughs> gay people literally only meet in the club by association or online. Of course, I had to like make a little account on a website that I'm not gonna mention because it's still up and running. And I was on the damn prowl, <laughs> like a fucking horny ass animal. I remember it was summer because I remember what I wore that day. And I remember being on this site for like a while before I decided to like do this because I was scared and concerned and I have never like had sex before. Also, I didn't know if I was a top or a bottom. I was very confused. It was very new to me. Like I just wanted to get it over with so I could like, get over that hurdle and like learn some things about myself and my sexuality and pretty much an experiment i pretty much considered losing my virginity an experiment because i was like freshly gay i was like a fresh can of gay opened up and ready to be consumed wow anyways i was getting hit up so much on this website because I put my age and like the pictures and like I was like the ripest twink ever. So like everyone was ready, all the older dudes were ready, all the daddies were lining up <laughs> at my inbox messaging me and shit. I had like a bunch of choices to choose from. Like I was just being a picky ass bitch. All right, so long story short, I ended up really messaging one dude. He was attractive, not like drop dead gorgeous, probably like a six or a seven, but like at 18 years old, that was like, whoa to me, you know? Today, wouldn't do it. The one thing that attracted me the most to him, this is gonna sound so fucking weird and very contradicting, was the size of his penis. You're probably thinking, what? It was probably huge, like, look at you, size queen. No. No, no, no. It was average. It was thin and it was the perfect beginner penis. Like, I didn't want to take off the training wheels yet, like, to handle something that was like seven, eight inches big. Like, I didn't know that. I was not about that life yet. I had not experienced that caliber of penis size. So to me, something six and a half was like A-OK -okay and perfect for the first rodeo. <laughs> So after a very heated conversation on this website and like me letting him know like, listen, this is my first time. You need to have a condom. You need to help me. I'm terrified. Terrified. But he was cool. He was like, yeah, I'm done. You know, I'll help you. I got you. I got this. We got this. Now, as an adult, I'm like, yeah, I bet you got this. Some little 18 year old virgins hitting you up. Of course you're going to go through with it. Like... Who fucking wouldn't? I decided I'm gonna fucking do this. It's done. It's a wrap. I had not come out to my mom or anyone at this point. When I said I came out earlier was I came out to myself. Like, I just accepted it. And at the point, I was like, I'm gonna come out eventually. But first, I'm gonna get some dick. <laughs> I get it over with. Nobody knew that I was gonna do this, so that was the scary part. I didn't really tell anyone, like, hey, I'm gonna go fuck a stranger. So, like, I could have gotten killed. Um, thank God I didn't. 
I literally didn't have to sneak out of my house, but like had to like make up an excuse like, oh, I'm gonna go to my friend's house. Like, see you later. Not that my mom really cared, but I was just the, person, the type of person to like let her know what I was doing because you never know what could happen to you. You know what I mean? So at least she knew I was going somewhere. So God forbid if something were to happen to me, I was just gonna be dead. So set up this whole event and I was ready to go. Now, <laughs> what made it easier for me was that I was going to a hotel. Like, I wasn't gonna go to his house or, like, his friend's house or, like, I'm not gonna get fucked in his Corolla. Like, <laughs> I was going to a hotel, a public place with cameras. Like, not that that would help me in any way if he was gonna stab me and, and like, slice my body up and, like, throw it in the ocean. But at least there was gonna be, like, a video proof of me, like, being somewhere, you know? I'm like, all right, I'm down. I even remember what hotel it was. It was the Marriott Hotel. Like, it was down the street, public. I was ready. I was down. It was happening. So he gives me the address, and I remember putting on, ready for this outfit, a white tee, my Adidas sandals with socks, because I always wear socks. I hate my feet. And, uh, and, um, brown cargo pants. Like, the straightest <laughs> damn outfit I have ever worn in my life. I don't know why I wore that. I get in my little Corolla. <laughs> And I drive to this hotel that was very close to my house. So I was like, I was meant to get the dick this day. It was like gonna happen. So I'm driving, driving, driving. And I'm shitting my damn pants. Like, so bad. Before this, I had looked up how to like prepare for anal. Like, what to do, what to like not to do. Like, I did my research. And I was ready. So, I cleaned myself out. Like, I like was trying to relax myself on the way there like I hadn't smoked at this time so if I did smoke weed that probably would have helped I wasn't really drinking that much so like I couldn't get drunk before I got there so like it was just like I was sober it was gonna be raw and painful so I get there whoa and I park and I'm anxious and I honestly thought about leaving but I didn't I was like nah don't leave take this dick do this like get it out of the way get it over with like just sit on it I'm in the car and we were communicating through email because I would never give a stranger my number. And I email him like, I'm downstairs, like, come and get me. And longest 10 minutes of my life, one, why did it take him 10 minutes to come downstairs is beyond me. Two, the 10 minutes for like three hours. So like, he comes down and I'm like, okay, cool. Like he's not that ugly. Like he literally is what he showed me. Like it's not like I'm getting catfish, thank God. But I hadn't seen his dick yet. And like that can be faked too so i was hoping that when he pulled his pants down i wasn't gonna be surprised so we go upstairs i'm literally sweating up a storm we get in the room and literally my anxiety and nervousness goes out the window and literally two minutes later i was naked on the couch with a mouthful of dick oh my god I literally wasted no time and he literally was so ready so we did the foreplay did all the you know, oral here, oral there. I think I had already done oral before this. I'm pretty sure I did. So I wasn't, that wasn't a stranger to me. Like I was not a stranger to putting dick in my mouth. Like that was good, that was fine. The oral and stuff continued. Um, foreplay didn't go on for as long as I wanted it to cause I guess buddy over here was ready to penetrate like God. And I wasn't ready. I was scared and I was not ready for the pain and I just wanted to continue doing small stuff. Like at this point, I was scared and over it. Like I didn't want the dick. I don't want to sit on it. I didn't want to do nothing. I was so scared. <laughs> so we get into bed and he goes, sorry about the condoms. Um, I bought them at the gift store or something and I'm like, why are you apologizing about condoms? Like. I'm just happy that you have them and I'm not gonna catch an STD right now. Like, come through, please. Well, he pulls out the condoms and the lube, puts it on the table. We continue the foreplay a little bit. And he continues to say, like, relax, you know. I know this is your first time. I'm gonna help you. If we do it this way, it's gonna hurt you less. And if we do it this way, so, like, just let me help you. And I'm sitting there, like... ready for the dick like ready for him to guide me like where's the map like <laughs> guide me bro um we get down to the nitty-gritty of things he puts the condom on he prepares my area back there for said p 
penetration. Perfect word, perfect word. For said penetration, um, uses so much lube, which um, I was confused. I'm like, okay, I get it. I read the, the stuff online, like, use a lot of lube, but, like, that's a lot of lube. But, like, you do you, boo. Like, I'm cool. I'm here. I'm here to support. I'm going to be your cheerleader. And, you know, I'm done. I'm ready. When he tried to put the tip in, All he kept saying to me was breathe, and in my head I'm like, what? Breathe? Does that mean punch you in the throat that hurts so hard? I, till this day, cannot tell you or explain to you the pain that I felt that first time. It was like an unimaginable pain, and like he was not well endowed at all, which was my reason for doing this in the first place. So I'm sitting there like, like stop. Stop. And after like literally stopping him like 10 times at the end, he was just like, all right, like I'm over it. And honestly, I was over it too. So I'm happy that he did this. He wasn't raping me or anything because I never said no. <laughs> he just like slipped it in and I was just like. <laughs> all right, Alberto, just take it. It's okay. Breathe. All right. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, ooh, ooh. All right. All right. That feels great. <laughs> So after the initial pain of 10 minutes and dying, it felt amazing. Like, it felt like, I don't know how to explain it, like a pressure, but like a pleasurable pressure, like a really good pressure. Definitely something I've never experienced before, duh. So to me, it was just like, like, wow. And at that moment, I was like very happy that I did that. <laughs> Like, it didn't go on for a long time because, one, again, this was my first time. And, like, I wasn't a professional yet. Like, I couldn't handle, like, an hour, two-hour long session. So, like, a good 30 minutes into it, I was like, hey, I'm, like, over it. He was like, okay, cool, I'm down. Like, I'm already ready to finish anyways. And I'm like, oh, perfect, because, mm, done. After, like, a 30 to 45 minutes, it was done. Like, we both finished up, and that was that. For me, it's never really awkward after hookups. I literally just, like laugh it off and like crack jokes and like we're fine like oh, wow i you in a hot mess and i was just glad and relieved and happy that this had ended like that's it i was done he said i go to buys it was whatever and i just left literally just left like never spoke to this person again never seen this person ever again don't remember what he looked like i don't think even if i like if you put him up in a lineup of guys i would never be able to tell you what his name was what he looked like nothing i don't remember anything it's like i blacked it out and like erased it from my mind like so yeah i got on my little corolla and drove away i was just driving happy as fuck jamming to music like i remember just like bopping around like oh i got some dick <laughs> and that was that now, how it felt after was, like, annoying. Like, I felt like I was gonna sneeze my lung out through my asshole. And I bled for, like, a week. Like, wow. In fact, if you bleed, it's okay. If you continue to bleed and it becomes, like, a lot, you need to go see a fucking doctor ASAP. For me, it didn't continue that much. I was really scared at first because I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna bleed out. Like, I'm gonna get an STD. Like, I'm gonna get E. coli poisoning. Like... Calm down, Alberto, and put the fucking WebMD down. Like, stop Googling shit. <laughs> now, I did want to say that the reason that I hooked up with a random stranger versus, like, dating someone and then doing that, or, like, hooking up with someone that I knew, was because I didn't want to lose my virginity to someone and then be hooked to them. Be like, wow, it was my first time, it was emotional, whatever, like, I love him. I didn't want that to happen. I didn't want to give myself the chance of doing that or experiencing that. I'm like, lose it to a stranger, so that way you get it done, wipe your hands with it, and you're done, Alberto. That's it. Everyone's always screaming. I'm so over it. So make sure you're subscribed to my channel and come back for other videos. I'm going to be posting a lot more so you know you're going to enjoy them. Bye.